Okay, Zach, so you're having some difficulty with your models. I know what you've uh, done wrong, and uh, my suggestion would be to go to the website and do two things. You want to follow the drawings and uh, suggest a feature order in here and follow this order in here. And uh, if you do so and you, you know exactly where you're going wrong in the mass properties, I can help you. But if you do something different, try to do this a little bit differently, and you get the numbers wrong at the very end, I can't help you because I don't know where you went wrong. So make sure you do that. So with the junction box, there's a video showing you how to do that. And there's no real shortcuts in this class. You just want to make sure you follow the steps involved. And when you become more and more comfortable and confident with the way you're modeling, of course, you could apply uh, you know, whatever you want to do to your final project. You can design it in a manner you see fit. But try to follow these uh, steps in here because it's going to help you get the right mass properties because that's the way the CSWA is going to be. There, you know, There's going to be a very specific way and an order. you got to do it, and you got to make sure you follow that. So one thing about the junction box here, too. If I were to pull this aside... Take a look at the video. I'm going to have to rebuild this. If you uh, you also want to make sure you have the orientation correct, so click on the space bar, go to the front view in the space bar, and that should be the front. So you got the front and the back uh, reversed here. Another object, another problem with this is you have uh, your boss extrude. And again, if you do this in a different way and you still come up with the right answer, that's great, no problem. But again, if you don't come up with the right answer, I can't really help you with that. So you combine a lot of features into your first feature, a lot of items into your first feature, but you still have the the you know the mass properties incorrect. If I were to go to the mass properties in here, you're looking at a mass here of a uh, 6927.518, and it should be if you consider these two features in here, uh, 6756.572. So you're not getting it right. You just need to do it correctly in order to get the right answer. And part of that is you're incorporating a fillet in here from the very beginning. The problem with the fillet in here is it's correct right here. It's a quarter inch fillet, or a, not a quarter inch, but a eight millimeter fillet. But you can see that in a preview. Eight millimeters here, but it's not eight millimeters, or it's eight millimeters here. But it's going to be a lot greater than eight millimeters here, and it's going to be a lot less than eight millimeters over here. You need to have a consistent fillet, which is the reason why we're applying that as a feature fillet. So a lot of things wrong here. Look at the video, look at the drawing, follow, follow the order, and you'll get the right answer if you do that. So not going to save that. Same with the hook here. You know, let's go ahead and hit the space bar, see what you need to do here with the hook. Uh, so we're looking at it uh, from the back and upside down. So you need to kind of fix that. So you mentioned something about uh, the hook. You're having difficulty with the hook. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So uh, having trouble making a maximum condition for the center of the arc to the base feature. Uh, the reason for that, if we were to take a look at the the you know the dimension is defining that as you're defining uh, you're actually dimensioning right to the center so as I mentioned in class you want to make sure that you're dimensioning to the fillet itself to the radius of that fillet to the arc itself and not to the center if you click in the center you have no options in here you can't make it minimum or maximum because right now it is at where it exactly where it needs to be right to the point if you what you should do in order to get that once you make your corrections otherwise go to sketch go to uh, smart dimension Click on the arc itself, go on that line and put that in. Even though it looks like you're getting the same dimension, you now have the option of going center, minimum. If you click on minimum, you can see that, and maximum, and that'll correct that. So get your orientation correct. Make sure you follow the directions. Look at the video. And if you have any questions about your orientation, click the space bar, and that should get you fixed.